Hey everyone, Shro Layla, welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so in today's video, I am gonna be doing an empties. I did one in the beginning of the year or probably like the end of January or something like that. And these are all the items that I have accumulated since then, which is crazy. I can't believe I finished all these products. It kind of shocks me sometimes because I do have a stash of, especially makeup. I do have a lot of makeup that I am just wanting to finish and use up because obviously you spend money on these products and you do want to make sure that you actually end up using them. And these are what I love about filming empties videos. I can go through and see what I actually use. And that is my favorite thing probably about filming these videos. So so without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I am filming a bunch of videos this weekend in bulk because I took the whole weekend off from hiking and I'm just kind of stuck at home doing nothing. So I feel like I just wanted a really productive weekend filming. Also, I am getting over a cold, so a bunch of my videos are gonna sound like like I'm sick, but I am just getting over a cold. So that's why I sound like this. So let's get right into it, you guys. The first item that I finished, this isn't in any particular order, so I don't know why I said that, but I did finish this, and it is the Fruity Pebbles Body Butter from, I was gonna say Makeup Forever. No, it's from Makeup Revolution or I Heart Revolution. They did a Flintstones collection and they had Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles scented stuff or like themed items. I didn't, the smell of this kind of did grow on me a little bit, but it does not smell like Fruity Pebbles at all. It doesn't. Like I feel like Fruity Pebbles are a little bit more citrusy, like in the way they smell. This one is interesting. It does <laughs> if, if you marketed this to me as like a Fruity cereal, like kind of like cereal milk type scent, I would probably be like, yeah, it does kind of smell like fruity cereal milk, but does it smell like fruity pebbles? No, it doesn't. So I kind of wish that I ended up getting the cocoa pebbles one that would probably smell like chocolate. But yeah, this one, I wasn't a huge fan of the scent, although the packaging of this one is on point. I do really like it. I really like the lid on it and I kind of want to find like a reuse for this because it is so cute so i may keep this and try to find out what i can put in there maybe like jewelry or something i don't know next thing i finished was this bondi boost pink salt scalp scrub and i was a huge fan of this back like last year when i first tried this item i actually was sent this for free from bondi boost i was sent a bunch of their stuff to review and their stuff is really awesome i've recommended it to my mom and my mom absolutely loves bondi boost but this particular product it is a really great scalp scrub it's the best scalp scrub that i found and like i said i was a fan of it back last year i found myself not using it as often anymore like i didn't really feel like i needed it it was kind of more like one of those like luxury products that i would use sometimes but not like need you know so i got one of those scalp massagers for my shower and that has become the most my most favorite thing ever so that kind of replaced this but this is still a really awesome product if you are looking for a scalp scrub this is one of the best ones that i've ever tried and this is actually my second bottle so i did a bottle container of it so i got the first one for free and i purchased this one from sephora so <laughs> As you guys can see, I do this with a lot of my Bath & Body Works lotions because I just get all of the product that's on the inside that's caught in there. You'd be surprised at how much product you are wasting by thinking that this tube is completely done when nothing else comes out of it. There is still a ton of product left over. So this is the Vanilla Mocha Martini Lotion. I did show this in my most recent Bath & Body Works haul from back in the beginning of the year and my friend didn't actually like the scent but i really liked it so it has notes of cappuccino vanilla orchid and white tonka bean 
on me whenever i put this on it kind of smelled like a matcha latte i don't know why i smelled matcha notes in here i did not smell the cappuccino whatsoever i smelled like matcha and i did really really like this next lotion in here again same situation this one is a favorite this one if i ever find it again if bath and body works brings it back i am buying like 10 of them no joke i'm buying the spray i'm buying the lotion i'm buying this type of lotion yeah i'm buying it all so this is lavender clouds and this smells like honey butter sugared lavender and whipped vanilla so it does kind of almost smell like a lavender honey latte and i love this or like a lavender honey cake because it doesn't have coffee notes in it it smells like a vanilla honey lavender cake it's amazing oh this one says lavender clouds on the back right there but i realized on the front it says dream in the sky so i think that's the name of the actual scent is dream in the sky so if you ever come across that scent definitely go and get it it smells amazing so next up i did finish a bunch of my mini moisturizers which i'm really happy about because i was starting to get like a ton of these mini moisturizers and i wasn't using them up so i'm glad i finally used this one up it's youth to the people superfood air whip moisture cream and their cleanser i used to use their cleanser all the time the spinach and kale one the gel cleanser and it stopped working for me like it actually made me break out so this is what the inside of this one looks like this is actually a pretty good size i think this lasted me like a month and a half in this size which is nice so their cleanser stopped working for me made me start breaking out but their moisturizer is amazing and i actually really did enjoy this it is a pro grade vegan moisturizer with kale spinach and hyaluronic acid but yeah i'm glad this formula actually works for me and i really did enjoy this one next up i finished this heat spray by foxy bay and i was expecting this to smell like vanilla ice cream because it does have an ice cream cone at the front of it but it doesn't smell like vanilla ice cream at all it kind of smelled weird to be honest with you it's not expired it doesn't expire till 2024 according to the packaging but this did smell a little weird but it did amazing things for my hair it really protected it from heat and everything like that from my blow dryer and this actually lasted me a pretty long time it says it's $20 but winners had it on for $12.99 winners is like TJ Maxx or Marshalls and yeah their stuff is just cheaper also I like the locking mechanism on the cap so you can travel with this and it doesn't leak or anything like that I took this with me to Ontario when I went in the fall so this did last me a pretty long time and I did not repurchase this because I haven't been back to winners in a bit I went to Walmart out of convenience and I got a Tresemme one next up is another Bondi Boost product surprise surprise I finished this a bit ago actually but it never appeared in any of my favorites I kind of just kept the empty bottle this is a leave-in conditioner this was a really good leave-in conditioner it says it's a rapid repair serum but yeah it was a really nice leave-in conditioner it made my hair really soft and it also didn't leave that sticky residue on your hands after which i hate i hate how some leave-in conditioners do that i also need to get a haircut really soon because my hair is super uneven and it was cut like that back in september and i didn't say anything to my hairdresser which i should have i should have in hindsight I should have been like wait why is one side longer than the other but i'm gonna be going to a different person this time around i think and fixing that situation i am also getting my hair done soon you guys like i hate having really dark roots but i couldn't see my regular hairdresser till the end of april well at the beginning of may i should have really pretty hair hopefully <laughs> Next up, I finished a deodorant. This one was okay. I am one of those people that don't use antiperspirant anymore. I quit using antiperspirant and I only use deodorant or what is it called? Like natural deodorant. I don't always use natural deodorant, but I either use deodorant or natural deodorant. I don't use antiperspirant ever. Anything with aluminum, I do not use at all anymore. So I decided to give this one a shot. I found this at Dollarama and it just sounded really good. It's by the Schmitz brand, which is normally really expensive. And this normally goes for like $8 at Walmart, even more sometimes. 
and this is the rose and black pepper scent it actually smelled really really good like i can smell both the rose and the black pepper and it's a really beautiful scent but it was really melty i wasn't even in a hot climate or anything like that like i would take this with me to the gym and stuff like that but I don't know it for a natural deodorant it was really good like it lasted pretty long on me it didn't make me smell bad or anything like that it was really moisturizing i can say that because it was such a melty consistency that it wasn't like native deodorants where it's kind of like hard and it's kind of like powdery this i didn't get that at all and generally it was a really good deodorant i would probably repurchase it again it's the dove zero percent aluminum and this is in the coconut and pink jasmine scent and honestly this is the only thing that has worked for me as far as deodorants go like seriously it's it worked amazing i did not repurchase it because i'm trying to finish my native deodorants that actually do not work at all i hate them and i know that people really love native for you know the naturalness of them but they don't work for me at all they make me smell after like three hours or something like that they do not last long at all but this this was a great 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 deodorant and i will definitely be going back to it again so like i said i go back and forth between like this and like natural so here's that next up i finished this huge bottle of micellar water and i use this to take off my makeup i also use this in the morning when it comes to cleaning my lashes because i don't wet my lashes twice a day i don't like wash them in the morning i use my cellar water in the morning just to clean my eyelids and stuff like that and i usually just wash my lashes whenever i take a bath or like shower at nighttime but yeah this is a really really great product i love it super gentle doesn't make my lashes fall out or anything like that i finished a bunch of sheet masks and as you guys know i use these after whenever i go hiking i didn't go hiking that much clearly in the past little bit i've only finished like a few of them so this is the jiju natural canola honey mask i didn't know it had canola in it that's kind of trippy because it when you think of canola you think of like oil right but this was actually a really nice mask it was moisturizing but it didn't break me out or anything like that and that is that i also finished the kale sous vide mask sheet by skin food i think i really like this one and these masks were all like a dollar at my local bakery my local korean bakery so i'm definitely gonna go back there and find more masks this one is by round lab and it doesn't i couldn't tell you what's in here because i can't read korean but that's what it looks like right there it's by round lab i don't know it was really nice on my skin all of these masks actually did a really good job on my skin this next one is by the cream shop and it's a hello kitty apple face mask it does have some serum left in here so i'm going to show it to you guys very fast i got this for my friend for my birthday and these masks are actually really adorable they actually have hell kitty printed on them so i really like that mask and then i do have this holika holika tomato mask i bought a bunch of these at london drugs and I think that they had them on sale or on clearance because they were expiring when I did get them. So I finished this. This is the Well and Good Post Workout Bath Salt. And I'm a huge fan of bath salts. I really do like them. And they do make a difference when it comes to my baths as well as my foot soaks. And this is generally what I use this for a lot of the times. I would use this after hiking as like a foot soak. And it was amazing because it does contain arnica, magnesium, and eucalyptus. And it smells like super minty and amazing. So this is by this brand right there. So if you guys are looking for it. It is an amazing, amazing, really, really relaxing bath salt. Next up, I finished my Mario Badescu drying lotion and I absolutely love the stuff and I will definitely be purchasing it again during the Sephora sale next month. That's what I am waiting for. I'm waiting for the sale, but this is an amazing product. It does contain calamine in here, has alcohol in here, which sounds super harsh, but it actually does really, really dry out your acne. Or if you have acne in certain areas of your face, this just works really, really well, almost like overnight to dry it out and shrink it down. So I am a huge fan of this. Yeah, I love it. 
Next thing I finished is another face moisturizer. So this is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. Looks like this. This is not the typical one I normally get. Oh, I do like the, pa I like the packaging on this. It's really beautiful. But anyways, that's what it looks like. I like this clear blue packaging. Anyways, so I normally get the gel one, but this actually came as the Sephora birthday gift. So that's why I was trying to use it up because I think it was from like two years ago and I hadn't opened it or anything like that. I ran out of moisturizer. I'm like, I'm just going to use this. And I actually really, really like this. So I would definitely get it again. I have used the gel one a lot in the past and I was surprised that this one actually worked out for me, but it did. And it's amazing. I finished a toner. This one I took to the gym a lot with me. And this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow PHA and BHA toner. This is just a mini. Like I said, it was perfect for the gym. It was perfect size. It contains hyaluronic acid, cactus water, and willow bark. It was just so amazing. Really, really calming on the skin. And it's something that I would definitely purchase in full size. Next up, I finished an eye cream. And this is I didn't really finish it, but I think it's gone off a little bit. This is by Tarte and it's their Maracuja eye cream. It's just a mini, looks like that. And I just, I was cleaning out my skincare cabinet and I found it. I'm like, that's pretty much done already. This next one is a Youth to the People product again, and this is another thing that worked out for me, thank goodness. This is the 15% Vitamin C and Clean Caffeine Energy Serum. So it looks like this, and I would wear it during times where I wanted to brighten up my skin a little bit. I would use this at night, and then I would wake up in the morning and my skin would be really, really nice and kind of like really rejuvenated and brighter. It was a really great product. So the two Youth to the People products in this video have been amazing. Glad that I didn't just judge a book by its cover thinking that it would be the exact same result as the cleanser because it wasn't. They were really great. Next up is a Neutrogena Ultra Gentle Daily Cleanser. This is something I took to the gym with me and this was a great cleanser. I had a bunch of these like little sample size, perfect for traveling, but I think that was my last one, which is sad. I did use this toner right here and this is just a sample. This is the Centella toner from Skin1004. I got this in one of my Korean beauty orders and I don't have much to say about it. It was like a one use product and it was decent, I think. I finished two of these Laneige lip sleeping masks, which is ridiculous. I can't believe I finished two of them in this short amount of time because lip balms take me forever to finish. They seriously take me forever to finish. These smell really good. They smell like strawberries. And this is just the mini. This one came with one of the birthday sets. Like I said, I got the moisturizer, I got this, and I got a sleeping mask, which I have yet to use. And then the other one I got in another Sephora set. So they are minis, but I did finish, but I did finish both of them. I think it's because it's so dry here right now. I finished another lip balm and this is by Fresh Wife and it's their London Fog lip balm. I found this at a local market so I'm pretty sure this is like made in Calgary or something like that. This was a really really great chapstick. It kind of melted on me a few times because it is a natural chapstick with like natural oils in there but it did really smell like a London Fog which was amazing. I finished this Merit brow stuff. I finished two brow items and this is the last thing that are in this video so I finished the Kosas brow pop pencil in dark brown and this isn't my favorite brow pencil to be honest with you I really do like the Etude House one but I haven't placed an order for Korean beauty stuff in a really long time almost a year actually and I needed brow pencil so I ended up getting this one from Sephora when it was the winter sale and yeah like I said this isn't a favorite it doesn't fully match my eyebrows even the one that I'm wearing right now I don't really like it either. I still prefer the Etude House one, but this is a really beautiful eye pencil. Honestly, like the packaging is really pretty aesthetically pleasing. It's not my favorite. And then last but not least, I know you guys wonder sometimes because I wonder sometimes like when people are sent free stuff, do they actually use it up? Do they actually like it or do they say that they like it for the video? 
Well, Merit. Okay, so Merit sent me a bunch of things and I've literally finished a ton of things that they sent me because I started using these items when I first got them and I've used them all the way till they're done. So I used up their mascara. I'm about to use up their lip oil, one of the lip oils that I got, and this brow stuff. This brow stuff was amazing and I absolutely loved it. So this is in the color brown and this is what it looks like. I do need a replacement of this, but I am waiting for the Sephora sale next month to get them, or like this month, I think. Yeah, it's this month. <laughs> but yeah, this is the Merit brow gel and I love the packaging on this one it definitely reminds me of like old Hollywood glam type makeup this did last me a pretty long time it lasted me about a year and I'm so sad that I have to get rid of it now but yeah I have used up a lot of my Merit products and I absolutely loved working with them so this video is not sponsored by them at all I just wanted to mention that that I actually did really thoroughly enjoy the products that I received from them. So that is all for this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys soon. Bye. I'll let you